Click on the Take Out object from the Object Library. The Add Vertex and Add Edge tools are found on the Point Edit toolbar displayed with a right click on the object you want to edit. The Add Vertex tool is a very simple tool that adds a new vertex to an edge. If Highlight is on, the position at which the new vertex will be added to an edge is visible. A click will add the vertex. We will add one to each side of the top face. This action is the same as breaking an edge in two. The new points can be selected and moved around allowing you to do some creative things. We will scale them out and move them up. Looks a little messy with all those non-planar faces. We can fix it with the Add Edges tool. The Add Edges tool will create a new edge between two points. We select a start point and then click on an end point. A new edge is created. We will do this all the way around the top. Much better, but there are still a few strange faces. Remember triangulation. It should fix those. Now we are getting somewhere. Let's delete the diagonal edge across the top. Well, what do you know? Looks like a Chinese takeout box. It's empty, so let's throw it away. Bring the mug object to the grid. Although simple, the Add Edges tool can be a very powerful tool. The handle and the cup are two separate pieces, so we will boolean add them together. The handle is still not connected to the cup, so with the Add Edges tool we will close the gaps. By connecting the matching vertices, we now have a connected handle and a continuous solid object. The Add Edges tool can also be used to build up detail in specific spots. On the other side of the mug we will add some new edges in the following manner. Notice that new edges can be started and or ended in the middle of existing edges with no need to start or end on an existing vertex. After selecting the middle newly created edge on top, we will move it out a ways in X. Now we will add an edge here. Now with the polygon bevel tool, another way to add edges, we will create a new face here and a second down the inside. More on this in a later tutorial. Selecting the new face inside, we will scale it by clicking here and moving it up in Z. Now we are ready for the next Add Edges feature. By connecting the points of faces on opposite sides of a feature, we can create a hole through it. We now have a hollow pore spout. We can also close gaps across two extensions of an object to create a loop. We will add an edge here by selecting a parallel edge and using the slice tool to move a new edge to here. Next, we will sweep out these two faces on the handle. Then we will create a new edge a little from the top on each, again using a selected edge and the slice tool. Now we can connect these two faces with edges 
to create a solid span. It is important to work from the outside in when creating such spans. We now have a solid continuous object with three holes in it, none of which were created by a Boolean subtraction. Smoothing it will test for continuity and proper construction. Looks good. With some simple vertex and edge additions, plus a little smoothing to finish it off, we can start with some basic shapes and end up with some nice geometry.